Hey guys, it's Laura from Probasco and Associates and Art of Play. Today I wanted to send out a message to all of you about a new uh, opportunity that we have at Probasco and Associates. We are now offering um, courses and parenting classes um, all surrounding the idea of positive discipline. I've gotten a lot of emails and questions about what is positive discipline, how is it different than love and logic, what about one, two, three magic, why do you like this? And the big thing for me is that positive discipline is based on Adlerian theory, which is my, my practice. That is how I do therapy. And so the things that you are sending your kiddos to me for can also be continued where the real work is going to happen, which is in your home. The other thing of why I like this approach so much is it is about connection before correction. Think about all of those professors or your bosses that you had a great connection with. You are truly more motivated and more spurred on to be able to perform higher. You wanted to have different life skill sets that would be encouraged, but also there was a healthy sense of approval in that. Think about the opposite. Well, who were those bosses or professors or even relationships where you did not have a great connection? There was not a sense of an internal motivation to truly want to um, have behaviors or do things that were approving, right? We had some rebellion, some bitterness, some sneakiness. Maybe you took a couple staplers or you took more lunch break than you needed. All of those things kind of go back to what our connection is. Positive discipline is not about being strict, shaming, and it's not about being permissive in a helicopter. It truly is about being firm with kindness. I have seen this approach truly start to help my practice and start to help the kiddos that I'm seeing. Most parents are taking their kids to me because they want them to be fixed. They want them to listen. They want them to stop playing with their electronics, stop messing with their siblings. But that's not what's going to keep it going, right? The idea is that our dynamics have to change, that we have to figure out what is triggering us, what's in us that is keeping this dynamic going. Positive Discipline talks about that there are misguided or mistaken goals that the children are believing, and as adults, that are encouraging this cycle to continue. If we punish or if we shame, that behavior might stop for a while but this is talking about long-term connection and long-term changing of our children into making decisions that are life skills. And unlike Love and Logic, which I do love and have great strategies, it's not just saying stop this behavior or different ways to approach that. It's giving kids life skills. It's giving them the toolbox so that they can pull those things out when you're not present. We need to be teaching our children how to self-regulate, how to self-soothe, and how not to be so impulsive. And if we don't have a toolbox that we're giving them, but we're just stopping the behavior, we're not really doing our job. This is not for parents who uh, feel like their kids are struggling so much. It can be, but this is just for all of us. I have a lot of people who it's hard for them to get out there. It's hard for them to say they're struggling with this. And the beautiful part about it is that we had an amazing first class with about 20 parents who truly were already out there trying and striving and working really hard and just not getting it done. Not in the sense that their work wasn't successful, but it wasn't creating the goals that they wanted. They weren't feeling good about how they were parenting. In fact, they were feeling poorly about the way they were, they were parenting. What we know about that is it continues the cycle. So I'm really excited. We have another March one going on, but I wanted you guys to know that this is a new opportunity for us just to start to figure ourselves out. You'll learn that there are these mistaken goals, but there's also so much about our personality that is playing into their personality that's continuing the dynamic to go on. This is wonderful for teachers as well as other therapists, and it really is giving us a new way, a new approach to work with kids with kindness and firmness. For all of those parents out there that think all of this is battle, battle stuff and we, we would never have done this to our parents, I'm with you, I understand. And that's where the firmness comes in. And to all of those parents that we have this ping pong 
going back and forth with our spouses because when one is strict, the other one comes in and is more permissive to make up for that. We want to be a united front. We want to be able to help our children and we want to be able to see positive goals being achieved. Please look at Probasco Associates and check on our current workshops. Look at us, see some of the things that are going on, or please feel free to email me. I'm always here to answer some questions. Again, our March training is the first and second weekend. Um, they are Saturdays where we meet. And we already have some parents signed up for that, and hopefully we'll have some more. And again, we'll be doing more and more workshops concentrating on how we can help our, our teens, our kids, our preschoolers, whatever it may be. So if you have any questions, again, email me, and we look forward to helping you. Thanks a lot.